Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. And if you are considering playing this game or you are coming back to this game, now is, I think, the best time to do it. So we'll go over a couple of things that just popped in the recent update. And uh, first, let's collect these goodies here. This came with the update. So these are extras that you could you know help enhance your character especially if you're gonna use this with katya this ones are very very hard to get and of course a little energy will not hurt so also these are maintenance compensation rewards uh obviously these are just a little bit of the rewards that they're giving and the most uh, i think the, the most anticipated of the rewards is this one the outfit reissue for katya this is another skin which we will see right now so we're gonna claim all here um okay so this is re-equipping i'm not sure how this looks like let's just go to the operative herself so let's go to this one refitting for what i'm not sure what they mean by refitting but it looks the same okay the prosthetic leg is actually out so it's uh, actually all solid. Uh, you can't see the prosthetic leg anymore. So it's like a free skin. It's just an option for those who want this one, which is not a problem for me at uh, this point. This looks unique enough. Uh, but this one, uh, let's go and equip this. So this takes away the prosthetic leg that was see-through for the um you know the skin uh the, the original skin for katya so nice work devs this is kind of a free skin not really a big deal but again a nice change or a nice touch to this update okay going back to the main menu we do have um this one this is a new reward type especially for beginners this one is already unlocked because we already reached um level 60 yeah level 60 is the cap previously we do have uh, we did have the main story rewards because this is now over we haven't had much rewards but if you're going to start the game now you're going to be getting rewards from this one and you can start rewards from the fast track section of the event so let's claim all of these these are very very nice to start with especially if you are a beginner especially these ones the fiber accents are really really hard to find especially if you are starting the game these are uh, modifiers or resources to modify your operatives this is for your gun let's just claim this and let's not miss a lot of time here so claim 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 up until where you are right now if you have been playing the game so again for those who are considering to uh come back if you left then do come back there are a lot of goodies awaiting uh, await you and also for those who are you know thinking of joining or are still thinking of um joining snowbreak containment zone well we do have some additional beginner rewards for those who are planning to and i think the final reason why you should um join this game or start this game is actually because of katya she got another round of um of upgrades recently so we'll start off with her crossbow um there have been significant um you know clamoring about their crossbow it's more on the other mode of firing so this addresses it so the mode of firing optimization the special firing mode is now going to be shooting explosive bolts so take note of that it's no longer going to be a spread shot of five or four uh, it's going to be one but explosive so this will bring a different type of dimension to how you're going to be playing her and um she's going to be more effective really when it comes to mobs right now you have to pick each and every one off 
but this one will you know will i think be a complement to what you have right now i'll be doing a stream right after this video so please um, um uh, uh, join that one um i'll be showcasing all of our skills that we'll be discussing now so that is one then adjustment of damage equ when equipped crossbow the crit rate and crit damage originally your crossbows do not crit rate and crit damage it still doesn't but if you have other modifiers okay for crit and crit damage like for example your logistics then blue bolt will boost the ballistic damage of the operative proportionally but if you don't have the, the weapon itself doesn't have crit rate and crit damage but outside sources will apply now so this is a big change this will give her, you know, probably if you build her with, you know, if you have extra crit rate and crit damage, probably give you extra damage at this point. And optimize range damage weakening curve for crossbows. No, no damage weakening for crossbows when shooting targets at a close range now. So damage will be the same all throughout, whether you're at close range or you are actually far. So this is a significant upgrade to... Um, her crossbow uh, or her crossbow or the abilities of a crossbow so again i think this applies to other future units that will have a crossbow uh, right now i think they are making sure that katya is going to be the poster girl for this game moving forward that is why she is being um she be, she's being enhanced well uh kit wise and aesthetic wise so for the operative herself, so first and foremost, the Blue Bolt Cluster 1 optimization. This is on the top one of the cluster. So attack bonus of a certain period after performing a tactical dodge. I think this is at 15%. I saw this already. So plus 15% after a tactical dodge, which is a, which is a nice addition to um, if you are in that Blue Bolt uh, you know if you are in that mode already um, in terms of uh, standard skill then once you do a dodge you get a plus for a certain number of time with a certain number of percentage so also katya 2 blue manifestation so manifestations got bumps because her manifestations seemed a little bit plain at first so two three and four manifestations have a bump uh, number two adds uh, S, recover, uh, S energy recovery after hitting a destructible a destructible object. Number three is uh, <clears throat> lengthens the duration of, in which stacks of soul reader do not reduce after Katya Blue Bolt performs a tactical dodge. And the last manifestation upgrade is going to be sorry for that guys is going to be in manifestation 5 the triggering condition when there is no enemy where the radius of 10 meters was removed so this is just a straight up 165 alignment index bonus with no conditions so they took out this um what they call this this condition and let's move on to the other scotcha blues blue, blue ball standard skill optimization after the standard scale without explicit instruction to head towards a certain direction katya blue bolt will crouch on the spot so previously when you used um the standard scale she would usually um most pro most of the time she would uh, she would move to the back then do the standard scale or if you have a directional position she would go there then do the standard scale now if you don't have a certain direction, she will just crouch on the spot, which is nice because sometimes you don't need really to go back. You just need to stay there and crouch on the spot. Number six is Katya's Blue Bolt. There was alignment, a new effect added. This aptitude effect deals higher damage to targets in frozen state, which is being given by her ultimate. So this is another nice mechanic to have, which gives you guys the, you know, an incentive if you work on her ultimate skill as well okay so katya number seven is blue ball there was alignment when in special firing mode the chance of triggering the aptitude effect was boosted but its final damage was reduced 
And number eight, blue balls that are scale adjusted the amount of S energy each shot consumes and final damage when Kacha blue ball is in Guinness 3 form. Switch to special firing mode, relevant description text was added. I think what this means is there's a different energy consumption for the other, f um, you know, the other, the other firing mode, which which is um, the explosive one. So I think this is it. So a different amount of S energy to be consumed in a different mode. Number nine is blue ball Kacha, uh, uh, Kacha blue ball ultimate skill, new passive effect according to their different firing modes. Blue, blue Bolt uh, inflicts stars, star freeze on enemies on different rates. The enemies will be frozen for a certain period of time. Once star freeze react, reaches a limit, star freeze cannot be, cannot be inflicted on targets that are already frozen. And the target star freeze is clear whenever frozen. Uh, when a target is frozen. When a target is frozen by star freeze move uh, more than once, the target star freeze limit will increase to a certain value for each time, maxing out in a certain way. So this is additional um damage for and additional effects for her ultimate skill so that is i think they had a little bit more buffs uh nor bug fixes within the game um i think they had bug fixes for the new content which is um paradoxical labyrinth but we'll focus on probably a just a small uh, sample size of what she can do. Uh, let's go with Gigalink here. Let's see how she does. Um, let's do one single solo combat here. And let us see what are the clear improvements that she has for her skill. Okay, so as you can see, the leg is fine. Let me just uh, rate of fire. Okay, so this is just a sample, guys. Don't want to take much of your time. So, ooh. Um, the as you can see there, the the animation as she shoots, it's it's a little bit more minimal than the previous one. That is very noticeable. I think they fixed that as well. So this one. Uh, let me try to just reload and see how. Ooh. So they, if they are clustered together. Wow. This is going to be a difference maker. It is a small AOE, by the way. For the explosive shot, which I... It's kind of decent. Um, enemy should be clustered um, really, really close to each other. But I like it because now you can really use her for any content that you have. Not necessarily for just bosses, but also for mobs. So I like the direction that they're going to. So... So it's not really nice to have, especially if uh, uh, you don't. Okay, it's uh, decent enough. So there is a small splash damage with an AOE. Nice. It's not really for single target. Let's uh, move back. So now you have a reason to switch, you know. To switch between your what do you call this your shooting modes your special and your normal mode nice so this gives you basically more flexibility in using her again i like that the animation doesn't interfere much with your crosshair the previous one was um really really messing up your crosshair sometimes i couldn't find the crosshair for you know in hitting a lot of your targets so let's uh, try this out let's do a uh, thing again so if you shoot if you shoot the ground, it still explodes, actually. 
Ooh, it, it, it functions like a grenade. Wow. This takes her to a different level. And she deserves another review at this point. So that is how she is right now. I'm just going to be going through the motions here, not optimizing. Oh, let's do another one. Hitting the ground. So if they're clustered, then it's really, really worth it. It doesn't work on does it work on multiple weaknesses? I'll have to test that out soon. But I'm liking this addition. This really makes her a more all-around unit, which bumps her up, I think, up to S tier. Now she she is actually one of the best for me, I think. With her not getting any, you know, reduction in terms of range penalty, with her having unlimited bullets, then this is going to be very, very interesting. Let's see, although the animation is actually, yeah, it, it's 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 kind of okay. It blends much. It it actually changed. The animation for um, the standard skill. Let's just do the standard skill again. So before I couldn't see the cross here. Now it's a bit visible with the feedback being white. I think before it was kind of a, a tinge of yellow. So so far I'm liking it. Again, she's she's gonna be one of the mainstays for your for your team. Um, before when people were, you know, were, were just, uh, you know, saying that she is not really a must summon because you have this and that. Now she is, I think, a must summon. I think she'll be at the top of all operatives. She, she She's the poster girl right now. So definitely she's going to be a beast in terms of dealing damage, being more flexible. So let us see. So if you hit the ground, you can do splash damage. You don't really need to to do the standard skill with with this one because you ha you have unlimited. It's not really a problem. So going back to single. Okay, so let's just wait. Okay, let's try. Well, it does make a big difference because it actually freezes your enemies. Wow. Wow. It actually freezes them. What? She's on steroids. This is a whole nother level now that she can freeze her enemies. I I think this this takes her to a different level. Let's just go out here. I think I've I've shown you guys enough. Let us see her standard skill. I'm actually curious. I haven't seen her skill wise. Let's do a deep dive on so this one is okay so this is the one that after tactical dodge kacha increases blah 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 when in normal firing moment special friend of okay sorry i forgot um i got a buff for the freeze it's not actually in the skill itself i'm sorry it's actually the buff that i took uh, from one up but if if her her special fire mode had freeze it it would just be insane but apparently it doesn't have i thought it was included in the kit but it was from the buff that i got so again if you have freeze with that aoe splash then you could really control 
the pace of mobs coming after you. So that is it, guys. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer this leg right here with, uh, with all covered up? Or do you prefer this one? I think I prefer this one. This looks badass and insane. So I'm keeping the old one. This looks this looks nice. This looks better. This looks unique. And that is it, guys. So what do you think of the new, you know, additions to Katya? Are you joining the game now? That you've seen what she can do. And I think these this is the final round of buffs that she buffs that she'll be receiving so uh comment down below guys in the comment section what do you think will you be starting this game take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here